Hello everybody, welcome to Nutty Kitty Dungeon! So when you start a new game in this game, this uh, funny treasure chest will be here in the starting room. And when you open it, it'll magically teleport you to the secret staff room in the game. Hey, there's Lilith from Tales of Destiny, Stan's little sister who has the most powerful fry pan in all of gaming history. And there's Zappi from Tales of Rebirth. But yeah, just for fun in this video, I wanted to show this uh, secret developer's room that uh, you can get when you have a, when you start a game on a New Game Plus mode. That treasure chest will be there in the starting room. And if you interact with it, you'll come into this room and you'll see a bunch of characters that you can interact with and basically uh, you know these are all just some of the developers and they say you know kind of congratulations for beating the game and this is Saito he's like long it's been a while since we've done a 2d game and they were all excited about having a 2d game I was definitely excited about a 2d game also because I like the 2d tales games the most his little black cat is like hiding out there, peeking up. And then he runs away. But yeah, just for fun, for those that have not seen this before, uh, after clearing the game the first time, I just wanted to show uh, what this uh, secret kind of staff room uh, looks like. Basically, after starting your new game plus, uh, you can come in here and uh, basically all these NPCs just have some you know fun messages for you about the development of the game and they're all named after uh, particular developers in the game. The area kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, Namcot Island area in uh, Tales of the Abyss. You've got the kind of cardboard cutout style look and uh, you can exit there's this funny staircase that goes up into oblivion you can exit there and there's a door here that goes to another section let's go over here and look yeah rubber duckies coming down the slide i'm not gonna you know translate all the text here but uh it's just some you know funny funny comments from the developers and the game designers just to give you a little bit of a bonus so I'll talk to them all real quick in case you do understand Japanese and you've never seen this and you want to read all the comments I'll talk to them all real quick well, mostly this video, I just wanted to do a quick showcase of the uh, staff room here in Tales of Fantasia, Naughty Kitty Dungeon. Your reward for completing the game. Those uh, swings in the background are kind of uh, interesting, swinging back and forth. I wonder if I can actually uh, ride those swings. And really, I have to talk to this stupid closet, this perverted closet again. I thought I'd seen the last of him. I want to ride the swings, come on. And then these uh, rubber duckies coming down the slide is pretty funny. Yeah, anytime you want to exit, you just go to this little staircase and it'll put you back in the starter room. And you can open the chest again, and it'll put you back in this uh, secret staff room. Let's go in the door. There's another little section back here. Ooh, hey, it's Mel. It's me and my sexy towel. Unfortunately, that's not a costume in the game, but oh well. kind of interesting there's uh, some characters in here from actual different uh, Tales games as well. You've got like one of the Nekonins. 
And then in the previous room, I talked to a Gajuma. And there's another Gajuma lady there. Uh, if you don't know what that's from, the Gajuma are from uh, Tales of Rebirth. 2D, Desio, 2D. Everybody's happy to have a 2D game again. You know what? I think they should make more 2D games. Because that's just one of the more fun Tales formats, in my opinion. But yeah, you may not actually recognize some of the characters because they're from some of the Tales games that didn't actually, you know, get official English releases, like this Gajuma here that I'm talking to, which is from Tales of Rebirth. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, Tales games of all time. Rebirth was a really good game. The uh, battle system was really unique, and it's just one of those that never got a, a Western release. Although I think there might be uh, like some hacked, you know, English text fan uh, translations, but I don't know for sure. And once again, the only way to do that would be to emulate it. I like a uh, Daos there. He's just sort of posing all cool with his uh, outfit blowing in the breeze. And we got Archie here even. They just had to put Archie. It's pretty funny. It's like if I was a staff member, I wonder which uh, avatar I would pick. You know, for for who I would want to represent me in a secret staff room. But that's pretty much all there is there in that little room. And that's about it. Let's uh, quickly look to, look to the right, look to the left again, and we'll exit out of here. But uh, just for fun in this video, I wanted to show what the uh, staff room looked like. If any of you were curious, or if you'd never beaten this game, and or if you didn't even know about it, uh, but there is this little just staff room for fun where you can talk to all the staff members. Just wanted to show that off in this video. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and definitely check out this game, Tales of Fantasia Naughty Kitty Dungeon. Definitely a really, really fun uh, Tales of experience. Definitely worth trying out. But today, that was just the bonus room. We'll see you all in the next video.